Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another daily devotion. I'm Pastor Roy here at Woodlawn Christian Church, and this devotion I'm recording for Monday, August 15th of 2022. It is my mother's 96th birthday, so happy birthday, mother. Um, we, it is also uh, gets us to the end of chapter 25 in Matthew's Gospel, also to the end of the Mount Olivet Discourse the little apocalypse that all three of the uh, synoptics have. Matthew, though, has this story only. This is the only uh, of the three synoptics that has this story. Uh, it's entitled in the NRSV as The Judgment of the Nations. Uh, it's the story about the sheep and the goats. All right. And it is a story of judgment. Not exactly you know, a feel-good story, but it is a. it should be a story that gives us courage as or uh, what do I want to say? Not necessarily courage, but it, it faith. Uh, we understand that, that there's hope there for those of us that follow Jesus. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the story of the goats and the sheep, the sheep and the goats. Matthew 25, 31 to 46. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people from one another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you by the from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you, a stranger, and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it for to the one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, You who are accursed, depart from me into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not give me clothing. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they will, they will, Then they also will answer, Lord, what, when was it that we saw you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not take care of you? Then he will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did not do it to the one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into to eternal life. Okay, this is a story of judgment. All of us, no matter who you are, no matter whether you believe in Jesus or you don't believe in Jesus or what have you, you will all, we will all, stand before the judgment throne. This is a story about the second coming, though. This is not, we don't want to, this one's not about either or um, the, at the end of the temple, not in my opinion. This was strictly as Jesus' second coming. This is referencing and looking back to stories in Daniel 7, uh, chapter 7, verses 13 to 14 is very much picking Jesus, is pulling that 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 story into this uh, with the Son of Man, first of all, and also the coming on the throne of glory. Um, and But then he's bringing in all of these elements. We have the Good Shepherd from John's Gospel. We have all these, these uh, uh, illustrations or these of, of sheep uh, and the difference between the sheep and the goats. Sheep are looked at as being obedient. They follow uh, they 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 are are more viewed as a, there's a view of innocence to that to some degree. Sheep or dis or goats rather are disobedient. Um, uh, they're bullheaded. Uh, they re they reject authority, and so there we have those two contrasting things. The sheep are those that accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. The goats want nothing to do with it. Um, and that's what's going on here. Uh, not that the sheep are perfect by any means. None of us are perfect, but we've availed ourselves on that grace. There is judgment, but there's grace. The sheep have availed themselves upon the grace. The goats have not. They have rejected that grace. They've rejected to follow Jesus. Sheep follow, goats do not. Um, the point here is not about doing works to get into to heaven. The point here is that 
that is, as uh, James tells us, that you can't, you, you can't have a genuine faith and not do works. You can't truly believe that you're following Jesus and not want to do things for Jesus' creation. And primary among those would be his people, his children. We want to take care of Jesus' the body of Christ. And the body of Christ is the Christians. The body is not, it's not anything but, let's put it that way. The body of Christ are those that follow him. It's the sheep, make up the flock. And so we want to help out the flock. So when you've done, done something for the least of his followers, uh, you've done something for him. You've done something for the body. So the body cares for itself. So I've always said, if you want to show that you love God, love his children. That is the way we show God that we love him. And that's what God wants. That's why we have free will in this world. Uh, that's why we have the ability to be sheep or goats. Uh, because if we, if God wanted us just to all be obedient, he would make us you know, robots, basically. And we would we would have a program that says, you, you know, do this, that, do that. But free will was introduced so that we could either accept God, Christ, accept God, to love God, or to reject God and to be disobedient to God. And turn our back and so god wants that, that that loving relationship he wants a genuine relationship based on us coming to him um he's extended the grace he's extended the love and it's there on a platter waiting for us to come and say thank you father you know we we we, we love you and, and we, we want to be with you forgive us our sins like the prodigal son he came back to the father um, and availed himself on his mercy. So that's what I've got for you today. Um, I'm going to let you go for today. We have finished chapter 25. Tomorrow we're going to jump into chapter 26 and then take a change here. We're, again, we're done with the Mount, Olive, Mount Olivet discourse. So we have a shift here. Still in the last week of Jesus' life. We've got to remember that. We've gone through this long 24 and 25. Um, Matthew gives us a lot of material to work through here. Um, but it's still Passion Week, all right? God bless you all. Please, please, please be a blessing to someone today. And we'll see you tomorrow as we start to talk about Chapter 26 in Matthew. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night.